What is up everyone? So, uh, last video we are talking about how we were going to the track in the S13. Well, we went and I drove for like an hour and we finally got to drive the road course. So I was driving fast. Somehow managed to spin off course and well, I broke my car pretty early in the day. So we kind of missed the video, but uh, see it back there. Super broken tie rod, which is crazy. And I don't want to hear anything about it being the FDF kit because these things have been amazing for all of us. Broken tie rods are a, are part of drifting. Like if you go to a drift event, you're supposed to usually bring a pair of tie rods. Personally, I didn't have a set, so we had to call it for the day, but it was still a great weekend. And uh, well, I ordered two, so we'll be good to go. And next time I'll be prepared. So that being said, today, our goal was to actually get Nissan to running with their built engine. And when we put a bunch of work in this morning, we got everything tied up. It looks amazing. I'm super pumped. It's basically ready to run other than the fact that we don't have the turbo on it. We don't want to run at open headers. So the manifold was supposed to show up today. But unfortunately it didn't because you know the mail system gets a little crazy. Yep, every day. Every day. So uh, once we get the manifold in, which should be tomorrow, we'll throw the turbo on and we'll finally start this thing up. Oh, I was really counting on it today and I was really excited for it, but that'll be tomorrow. So what that leaves us with is no video. And mentally unstable. <laughs> Dude, we were freaking out. We put in so much work this morning to try and tie this all up for today, but so be it. The universe said no. It'll be worth the wait. So today what I decided to do, since we don't have much time, uh, and we haven't done it in a long time, is a shop update. Well. As you can tell, we have a lot going on. There's cars everywhere. The shop's a mess. And we've been running around like chickens with their heads cut off for the last couple weeks. And, um, well, we got some things to talk about, right? Yep. What do you got to talk about? Nothing. All right. You got anything to talk about, Loopy? Dog stuff. <laughs> he needs a new turbo and a cold air intake. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he overheats a little bit. <laughs> A new thermometer for my boy. <laughs> so, uh, so we have a lot of cars, and we do have a lot of projects going on, but I don't think we have as many as people might think. Yeah, let them lick their chops a little bit. <laughs> what was that? Let them lick their chops a little bit. What does that even mean? One car in here is going. Oh. <laughs> do we just tell them when they click my video, oh, I'm selling this car? Oh, it's sold, actually. Yeah, it's gone. Let's let them know. Should we let them know? I think we either let them know or we clickbait it one, one day. We'll tell you what it is. We're going to tell you later in the video. So what we're going to go through is kind of just talk about what's going on because I know a lot of guys have some misconceptions with some cars. So I just see it in the comments. And uh, well, let's get to it. So first off, I'm going to say we got a lot of cars around here that a car is never finished, right? A project car is never finished. There's always more you could do. There's always mods that you're going to want to do to change things up when not. But there's a lot of cars that are in a finished state where they're awesome as they are. And I want to consider them a project, right? They can always be better. They can always be better, but... We're not touching them right now because I really enjoy them where they're at. And I want to get some more enjoyment at them before I start throwing some more parts at them, right? I guess we could say that. I don't know. I just, those comments get stupid sometimes yeah, and whatever. Yeah. So uh, first thing, let's just start on one end of the shop and just walk our way through because there there's a lot of stuff right now. A lot. First thing we're going to talk about is B-Hall's car because I know a lot of people ask about it. So as you guys know, it's D46, LS swap blew up, boom, you guys uh, were amazing and helped us basically fundraise some money for his new swap. And well, Brian decided to take that and make the best LS he can because he felt like he really kind of owed it to go crazy, right? And so well, you guys have heard the story on the LS a couple times. Essentially, his motor is basically almost done. It was a lot of work. Let's just put it that way. Our buddy JP who's building the engine. He has had his hands full, but uh, engine's almost done. So once the engine's here, that thing goes right in because we have the swap figured out, which is nice. So not much longer, boys. Don't worry. B-Hall has been staying busy helping Josh. He's been driving Josh a car a lot. He's been driving Kira's car a lot, and he's been getting a lot of seat time in the last year and a half. Bought a 240, too. Oh, he oh, bought a two. God Ryan, bless him. Ryan bought a 240. We We'll go up to his shop soon and share about that, but uh, don't worry, Brian has been driving a lot, having a good time, and uh, well, it's just one more thing to look forward to for B. So, this is good, everything's good. So, the two S13s, right? We have the cherry hatch, which has been sitting for quite a while now, right? We gotta I was, take this thing yeah. off. We gotta take this thing out. We gotta dust her off. Jimmy's gotta daily off. drive it for a week. Well, here's the thing, right? So, during early COVID and COVID times, I feel like I wasn't drifting too, too much, and I kind of would just like randomly take cars, and I kept taking this car to the, to the track, even though I kept saying it wasn't a drift car. In a very simplistic form, I was having a really fun time driving this thing. It just kind of felt pure. It was really low maintenance and I had a blast, but it's basically, we threw this car together with like parts that I got in just crazy deals. Like, and now everything's kind of caught up with it and it just needs an entire refresh, right? This thing, I don't want to touch it until we are in the position to make it the car it should be. Isn't it missing an ECU? I did give my ECU out of it to my buddy a long time ago and that's what initially put it on the, the lift. The lift yeah. But I think there, we, we put an ECU back in, didn't we? No. Uh, uh, we gotta put an ECU in this thing. And then the 180, as you guys know, we got this car. Um, just because it kind of popped up and it was a 
It's a great deal, and we say that. But the universal line for this car, and now we have this as a project under the wraps for when I one day want to build a 180. Just because I have it doesn't mean like I need to build it. I just have like no money in it, and I, I have myself the potential to build that beautiful Type X 180. We talked about this. Yeah. You guys know. Whatever. New front wheels for the coupe. What do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? Switch it up a little bit. New flavors. Yeah. So this guy over here. Yeah. Look at Luke. <laughs> He's fast. He's like, get me down from here. <laughs> yeah, so we needed wheels that actually cleared the brakes better so I can lower the front of my car. And while these popped up from a homie, and I think it'd be pretty cool. What do you think, right? What Blitz, are these? Blitz Techno Speed Z1s. They could okay. be cool. It's one of those wheels that they look super dope off a car, but they might not look good on a car. We'll find out because there's a lot of wheels like that. But all right, right? This my 300 ZX project. Should it we... smells so bad. Do you Does smell it? it? Does it smell bad? I keep getting this like hint of like Musk? mouse, like wet, musty, wet, wet hmm. sneaker mixed with the JDM. That's what that is. Like wet yeah, you sneaker. smell it. I thought that was just DJ, but he's not here, huh? DJ smells nice. He does. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take this thing apart and get the parts that we want. There's a couple guys that need some parts off of it, and uh, I want to help some people out that need it because you know I got this as a favor and I'd like to pass the level along. So we'll figure that out. But. E6, you guys know what's going on. We just did a video on this. Um, I'm waiting for my oil pan to come in for the case here. He's gonna assemble it, drop it in. Everything's gonna go great. Black S15, uh, we haven't touched this in a little bit because we've just been doing so much. This car right now is honestly amazing. Like, obviously we know it had that really crazy boost creep problem, so we need a new manifold on it. But even with the boost creep, I mean, it still makes good power. The power band is really fun. It's just a little unstable, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just beautiful. And I don't know, it's like, I just love this car and the form that it's in right now. So this thing is just, Wash it, drive it, enjoy it. Easy as that. Mm. So it might not look it, but we've been driving this thing a lot this year. 350Z. Uh, last video, I hit a wall really hard in it, and it's really Bent that in. You see it? Yep. Oh, as I pull that out. Yeah, okay. the bumper's that gonna come off idea. anyways. So uh, I got a new bash wire. We have to do this. I have a clutch coming in for it because the clutch has been slipping since we got it. And uh, back on the track she goes because I need some more seat time in this thing. Mm. This one's gonna do it for me. That's gonna help me break those bad habits of being nervous all the time, right? Dave, E30. I love this thing, looks yeah. cool. Uh, the Gobla Mobile. Uh, we do this car, it's just great. I don't know. What do we do to it? We just, my goal is to just tidy some things up. I still gotta do a um, surge tank in it, and that's really it. This car just works, it always just works. I have a set of side skirts for it, and I have a rear valance for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's Ooh. drop those off the spoon. Spoon's gonna do the body work on them, probably paint them. Spoon, you're watching this, I know you're screaming, I'm not gonna do that, Jimmy. Spoon, you're gonna paint them for us. Thank you, buddy, we appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> uh, smoke Defender a little bit on this. All right. That's uh, that's okay, that'll fold back. Yeah. That was, that was some Polish casualties. Gobler sent it pretty hard. Yeah, we're gonna come, come, we'll be good. come to Poland and pay you back for that one. <laughs> 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 All right, so. As you guys know, we have the blue S15, the Alltech. The whole goal of this car was I was buying it to basically flip it, and then we all kind of fell in love with it a little too much, and now I'm obsessed with it. And who would have thought I'd be totally obsessed with a blue car? Weird. Never thought about it. We did the Spec R Aero, which is just what you do because it's perfect OEM fitment and just the perfect, beautiful styling. What do we do to this? I mean, it's just like a nice car. It's just pure, easy. It's just mm. a great car to drive. It smells good too. It smells good, it looks good, it's beautiful. Like sometimes you don't have to go crazy with cars. You could just enjoy them in simplistic forms. Man, any big plans for this one? No. No. Did you figure Leave out it as is. Did you figure out if you're doing the wing or not? Yeah, so we... No wing? I, I re I've been really liking it no wing, but we have wing number two, we've talked about it. And for some reason it hasn't been brought to paint yet. So hmm. we got that thing painted. Oh. Huh. 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 Besides that, I don't know. Like, what do we like? I don't. I love it as it is. Easy, right? That's it. Whatever. Simple. You guys know we got this thing last year. We were put the front end on it. I'm still looking for a damn nav and front bumper. I can't find any that aren't destroyed. Um, the NATSR. Mm -hmm. This is another car that like. Obviously, I'd love to get the hood color match the rest of the car because it's a different color. Um, but I'm probably gonna wait till I get a nav and front bumper so we can paint it all at once. And then, dude, it's just another one of these cars that, like, it just works. It's yeah. a great car. Like, I know it doesn't have, like, a track purpose or anything. It's just a great, enjoyable street car. People come and hang out. I always let them take this car because it's, like, the easiest car to drive. It's, like, old faithful. This thing just works. It works. You put gas in it, you drive it. Everyone's driven this car. It was like the damn mini truck. It's like the damn mini truck, right? Thank you. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe you put a spoiler on it. If you guys have any suggestions for, like, fun things to do with these cars, let us know. But we've just been kind of maintaining them and enjoying them a lot of these builds because a lot of them i guess were 
or done, right? Mm -hmm. Not done, but I don't know. Whatever. And then we got my mom's Drift Z3, which you guys haven't seen him take it to the track yet, and uh, we've been dying to. I know my mom's been dying to too. So um, unfortunately, we've only had one drift event available this year for her to drive, and it filled up very quickly. It was kind of a makeup event from a previous event, so we couldn't get her a ticket. But next event, she will be driving, and we're trying to coordinate a private day so she can actually get in this thing and get comfy with it, because I'm really excited to see her driving it. Because this car is pretty well set up and pretty decently easy to drive. And so I think she's going to do really good in it. And honestly, it'll give, give her some more confidence and uh, make her even that more excited about driving. So on top of that, you guys saw we just did a video on the E36. I have it back on my dyno because I want to get this thing hooked up. And I want to play a little bit more with my dyno settings to see if I can get them to match Derek's even more consistently, hmm. right? Because we've never really had a good car to baseline this dyno with because we've only been tuning them on here. Mm -hmm. So now that we just have this thing super consistent on Derek's dyno, and we know exactly what the torque and horsepower figures look like, I could try and kind of finally play with my dyno to see how we can get them to be consistent, as consistent with his results as possible, since I know his dyno is extremely consistent, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. In the last video that you did, it showed that it was pretty consistent. Yeah, pretty so the horsepower was similar, but the, the way the torque came in was quite different, and me and um, Derek have a pretty good idea on how I could get my settings set up properly to get this being a little bit more consistent. Because to be honest, like when it's under 400 horsepower, this thing is like spot on every single time. After 400 horsepower, things get a little distorted in some areas. And uh, well, I just need to actually take some time on the computer and get everything set up properly. Because I feel like we never actually had the time to. Because every time yeah. we use this thing, it's like we're in a huge rush. Like we don't have free time. This is yeah. like what, what you guys see. So um, I'm gonna spend a day where I could actually get this thing dialed in, right? because we need it, right? Because hopefully after this, most cars will be over 400 horsepower. <laughs> so then we have an Asanda, of course, as you guys have been keeping up on it. We are the turbo set up away from getting this thing running. And uh, we're gonna drive this car this year. I cannot wait for it because we finished it and I got so sick of the car, I didn't want to bring it out. We're gonna drive this car this week. We're gonna drive this car this week and I can't wait to bring it to events because I forget how damn cool this car is. Like, it is such a gangster ass car and I want to bring it out and I want to show people I'm proud of this thing. And uh, we're gonna flaunt it this year. And then eventually we're gonna send off the spoon and get it painted. A turbo, a manifold, you need a manifold, a turbo, and some piping. But well, we got uh, everything else figured out, so, I mean, it looks looks beautiful. Yeah. Almost there. It's a car I get. So the K-Series Kuki, this is one of the coolest cars I own, I think. I really, really love this car. I know you guys haven't seen it on camera. I've actually taken this thing out a couple times this year because it's just such a gangster car. I feel the need to drive it. But you guys know this, right? K24 turbo looks beautiful in there, and it made good power, and it's a great drivetrain. But the streetability of this car is something I really need to work on because it's not comfortable to drive. And I hate saying that on camera, but the drivetrain is just so raw. It like, it's kind of like, it feels like a track car, but in street car form. Mm -hmm. And so it's not that comfortable to drive, which is kind of a shame. Cause like, look at it, it's a beautiful car. And it's not like I built this car to be a track car. I just wanted a nice street car. You guys know I like street cars and I know like some guys Hate, hate on that, but sometimes like building a street car is the best because it's a car you can enjoy the most, right? Beyond anything, I just wanted the K swap a damn S chassis <laughs> really bad. So the the drivetrain's extremely raw. There's a lot of vibration and just drivetrain noise. The throttle's really sensitive. The clutch is extremely difficult. Um, there's still no power steering on the on the swap, which that's my fault. I should start coming up with a better solution for that. Maybe looking into an electric column or a power steering, electric power steering pump in the trunk or something like we talked about. There's probably ways to combat a lot of it, but it's just a very raw drivetrain, which, you know, in like the eight, six. They're good for track, for track stuff. Great for the track. I wish I had this in a drift car. Like honestly, like, like this, even in my coupe would be so much damn fun. Like in a properly set up car like that, right? Uh, but when you're on the street, you know, cruising at 60, just trying to enjoy yourself, listen to a song, it's just, like, you know, it's just like hard to explain. It'll be great in the 86, right? Cause the 86 is gonna be a more track oriented car, right? It's mm -hmm. gonna be expected from that car. But when you have a car like this, which I kind of wanted a really fun car to rip on the road, it's just rough. <laughs> and then last week we tore apart the K truck. Cause as you guys know, the damn thing blew up. Who would've thought? Out of all the damn cars in here, the damn K truck blows up. So the biggest thing is what engine are we gonna put in this damn thing? We come up with a lot of solutions here, putting an OEM engine in it, some, an OEM type engine that we could bolt in. We're going crazy, go sick with it. And there's been this K half, it's almost, it's not fully finished, but it's bolted in. It's a K series in one of these things. You've seen that? I've seen them for Bro, it. I, I keep got getting tagged. tagged. I, I've yeah. 
so I counted much. this morning. It's 12 times from Good. different people. Stop sending the video. Uh, <laughs> I got tagged in that video probably, it, it's had to be at least 400 times. It's nuts. Really? So, yeah. yeah, you should see my Instagram right now. It's useless. I thought it's I just, had a lot. People like, just, in like, I appreciate you guys. Like, that's dope. But we've seen the video. Thank you so much. Don't take us anymore. But uh, they basically took a K-series, right, and just dropped it right here. And they have it mounted up, and it's really cool. They have these crazy custom knuckles in it. Yep. They went nuts with it. They still got to put. S1 built. What was that? S1 built. That's the guy who did it. Oh, S1 built? Is that what his thing is? That's what it says, yeah. S1, S1 built. built. Yeah. Gangster. I saw yeah. his control arms. I saw his knuckles, custom knuckles. Yeah. Killed it. I think they're still waiting on axles, and you can tell the wiring and cooling system. Mm -hmm. But yeah. they got the bolt, and it looks gangster. And as much as I would love to do that, that is so much work, and we just do not have. We'd have to, like, I mean, if you guys want to see that, I will dedicate the next month of the channel to do that. <laughs> but I don't think that we got to know that that's really what y'all want to see. I don't think that's what I, mean. like I, I would plus I would love to do it, but I just don't think that would how much work that would be for yeah. it's it's is the juice is the juice worth the squeeze. Hell, if you got if they got if they want if everyone watched it, I would do it right now. But I don't think we would keep most of you guys in, in tune with that for a while. But I don't know. We. So we looked into a couple, we found some cool OEM options that will be more bolted and that will be more manageable, but we're just having a hard time figuring out how to get them because a lot of the suppliers that we found don't ship to the US anymore. Mm. Just bad times. So we're still trying to figure it out because trust me, I hate having this thing sitting like this. I really love this vehicle. And like if we do like a, you know, Hayabusa engine or like a street bike engine or something like that, it's still an extreme amount of customization, yeah. which like I said, I'm down to do, but I just don't know if analytically that works out. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you hit up um oh boy amir that Boyke? you actually got this from Boyke? i actually do have to hit up Boyke because he probably if he, he if anyone's gonna know who where the supplier is he's gonna know so that's a good, that's a good lead right there yeah um, i've hit up everyone else but so we gotta him, right? we gotta shoot him a call that's for sure trust me i put way too much effort into looking for a drivetrain for this thing so. buddy, why don't you call me sooner <laughs> so and then we have the three ladies in the back which don't even talk back here we haven't we we've, we've driven these a lot this year so far so i'm not saying this thing I'm not going to lie, haven't driven it much this season because we kind of stole the wheels off of it. We one J swapped it real quick. Yep. Ready? Psych, got you. <laughs> imagine. Look at it. Imagine having one J in it. That'd be so cool. Shout out to Kuki Tony for his one J Z uh, R34. But this thing, honestly, this was like the work. A lot of people like nagged me for not driving this last year. We all drove the shit out of this car last year. I don't know who's talking. I drove it a few times. We all, everyone, Eddie drove this thing. Look Steph good. drove this thing. I drove this thing all the time. This was old faithful. We just didn't drive it during the winter because it was snowing out. So uh, <laughs> this car is great, my 33. I love this car. I love 33s. The only problem is we stole the wheels off of it for the black, black Z, Z. And these wheels don't fit. They, they fit enough that they could sit on it, but it's undrivable. So we have to decide if I want to relip these wheels to work on this car or get new wheels, or if I finally just pull the plug and unfortunately sell this thing so I can get some money to buy a GTR. Let's sell it. Let's rinse it. It's beautiful. It's I know, a staple. I just, get, I just get way too attached to cars. I put so much work into this thing, and I love this car. Like, this is That's fire. beautiful. It's just, like, the perfect balance of, like, simplistic and OEM. Like, I didn't, you know, shave the bay and zinc coat everything, go crazy like that, but it's just a really nice combination of affordable parts that just look almost error correct, and it's like a good balance of like affordability and purpose, right? Mm -hmm. It drives buttery. And it drives beautifully. Like this is like, I don't know. I think this was a great balance of like wanting something nice, but not having to go crazy for it, right? <sighs> this car's cool. If I sell it, I'm halfway to a GTR. <laughs> Just hard. I'm so bad at letting stuff go. I get way too attached to it. Put so much work into these it's damn things. What was that? You're a hoarder? I feel like hoarder you just think of junk. This is not good a stuff. Name, not a yeah, yeah. Sense, I don't know. It's different, right? Because like it's not like I just bought a part and I won't give it up. It's yeah. like I put so much effort into this and I like get so attached to it, you know, like the problem is I just love cars like way too much. Like I don't do this for clout views or whatever. This is just what I love. And I get way too attached to it. But I mean look at this. It's such a beautiful car. It's it's a paint job away from being like the perfect GTST. So paint it or sell it. Paint it or sell it. Paint it or sell it. It's one of the Or other. just rock it as is because it looks good. It looks good. That as well. Reel up the wheels, continue to drive it. <laughs> but then I go to Tommy's, I see R33 GTRs, and I'm like, damn, I need that thing. Hmm. Mm. Smells like money. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we, I just suck it up and finally sell this thing. What do you? You think? ain't selling it. 
Come on, I know, like maybe. No, maybe. not a chance. Come Jimmy on. don't sell nothing. I don't want. Why not? Jimmy don't sell. He's just gonna get another G, uh, another Skyline that's a GTR. I don't hate that idea. That's a great idea. I mean, like, if you don't, okay, you don't no, well, here, here's yeah. a debate thing, right? Because, like, everyone, like, will yell at me if I don't drive a car for two weeks. They're like, just sell it. You don't even enjoy it. It's just like, yeah. it's just like, why? You know, like, if you need the money, I get that. If you yeah. need the space, I totally get that. If you haven't driven it for, like, three years because you just don't care about it, I get that. But you have a unique situation. I have just a unique situation, I guess. You have a unique situation where you have the option to keep things. But and I'm so great and like I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this and I've worked really hard to make sure I can like for sure keep my cars and enjoy them when I want to enjoy them. But it's weird. It's weird. Everything's weird. <laughs> and then we have these two beauties, my Z's. Um, man, Ella Z's sick. Love this car. It's great. It always works. Has great power. Just classic, right? This is like the car classic. Fight. Just like I told Steph, I told all these guys, if I ever die, just light this car on fire. Let it die with me. This isn't on, nobody could, you know how we had the talk on the podcast about which cars we would take? Yeah. Uh, this isn't on the list. This, no, this one's off the list. You got to burn this one. If I die at like my funeral, just like, I want all my homies just pouring gasoline on it, just light it up. What if we just put it on ice somewhere? I don't know. Oh, you could do that. No, yeah, whatever. Whatever you want. Just no one else can touch it. You can put it on top of the building or something. I don't know. Yeah. Bring so, it to Adams. Bring so, it to Adams. Just like to a boomer. <laughs> ah, Jim's turning his grave. Ah. <laughs> LZ is great. I mean, like, it's one of those things, like, there's some panels I want to touch up with paint, and I have a rear diffuser for it, but besides, I can get the bird show. What the hell? Holy. Oh, the yeah, bird. The bird that was in here. He yeah, he's been in here for three days. Smoked, dude. All right, Ant was here this weekend doing his collection. <laughs> a bird got in. They couldn't get him out. He smoked a Z, Tony. Look at it with all the dust. I think RJ got a picture that. of the bird. Tell him to send it so we can. He was up here somewhere. Damn he was bird. Chilling. Shit on the Z. He was he probably was nervous. Smoking. He was nervous. Yeah, he was. Right. We got him out there. RJ got him out. RJ I don't know how there. he captured it. He went a bucket. Allegedly. Allegedly, RJ caught it the bird. But uh, I don't know. This car, it's like one of those things. It's just like, do I have to touch it? I don't want to touch it. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. I what love about it. the wheels? Do we have to burn the wheels too, or can we take the wheels off? <laughs> You take no, nah, no, nah, burn it with the wheels. Yeah. Since Stevie, damn, it's great. some good meat on the thing. We, uh, <laughs> on our last, on our last podcast, we had a discussion of uh, what car everyone would get if I died. Yeah. What did you say? I think I got the dirt. I took the dirty with the two car trip <laughs> with the two car. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine Stevie driving that around. Yeah. And then the black seat, as you guys know, uh, we got the kit on, we got the wheels on. This car's absolutely beautiful. I guess this thing, I just want to keep it looking nice. I got a rear diffuser for it, like the Red Z, and just continue to find excuses to drive it. That's really it. These things are super hot. All right, so we kind of went through some stuff. I know we got a lot going on. We got the one J sitting here out of the chaser. So my new chaser shows up in two weeks. So when my new chaser shows up, we're going to get this thing properly dressed with the turbo manifold that Huh, that should have been in last week. Should have hmm. been in. Uh, I gotta figure out what that manifold is. Right that off. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get the manifold on it with the turbo and everything. So when the, like, we'll make sure the drivetrain is fully set up this time so we can like actually drive my new chase around and enjoy it a little yeah, bit yeah, before yeah. we rip it all apart. And so if everything's ready to go, drivetrain wise, we should be able to just like. I can't wait to do chaser things again. Do you mean, honestly, I, I love why. that car. Chaser was just energy. Just good vibes, right? Yeah, so yeah. Energy. That's that on that. And there's so much going on. I probably forgot a bunch of stuff. I kind of just pointed at cars and yelled about them. But uh, if you guys have any questions on anything, let me know. We got a lot of stuff planned. We got a lot of stuff going on. DM uh, Tone. DM Tone. He'll tell you all about it. No, I won't. I guess I got to find a spoiler for this. I might just put a kooky spoiler on this. I, I don't know. Give it up. I, I kind of got used to it not having a wing. Yeah, but it feels like it's missing something still. Eh, not really. This is the thing. I'll look at it. Look at I need it. this. I'll think about it for five seconds. I'm like, I'm not going to think about it now. I'm going to work on this car instead. And I'll just walk away. What about the Just lost flows. Corolla? So what about the lost Corolla? You said you want to slam it and put it on some wheels. We got some comments of yeah with uh, some uh, suggestions. So you guys know the right-hand drive all-wheel drive diesel Mino Corrado mouthful, best car ever. It's been at Spoons Corrado. I call it Corrado. That's hard, that's Corolla. Hard. <laughs> Imagine that as a Corrado. Uh, so I actually Spoon had it, and we had a deal. Spoon needed a car to drive, so I said, Hey, Spoon, I got the parts. If you could fix it, you could drive it for as long as you want. So Spoon's holding it down for a little bit, but as soon as Spoon is good with that. Yeah. Um, he gets up on some personal things. Uh -huh. We're gonna slam it on some wheels because I want to see that thing like looking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I just can't pick the wheels because it's so hard to find decent wheels these days and good specs for, you know. We're gonna get us some Puerto Rican boxing gloves. Slam it. Slam it. Enjoy throw it. Throw it on something nice. I know Jim has good uh, wheel taste, so. I know, but I like. Worry. I might just buy some cheapies for that just to get on the ground. Fuck it. 
Let's do it. Send it. Send it. Send it to the floor. The Nasana needs new wheels. It's been on those eBay wheels for so long. <laughs> but the problem is, there are 15, 16 staggers, and they're specific. You gotta buy two sets. You gotta buy two sets, and then you got burners. Specs are weird. Then you I'll got figure it out. Burners for the track. That's it. Almost forgot about the BRZ. Uh, this thing we've had it for about a week and a half now. Has it been a week and a half? Or has it been yep. a week? Got over a thousand miles now. Does it have over a thousand? Yep. Really? Yeah. No. DJ got over a thousand in it? No. Basically, it's been the damn lunar car, but it's been fantastic. Johnny! What do you think of the new BRZ? Looks great. <laughs> Johnny approves of it. Can we do some donuts? Go take it out. I'm out of breath. I just had to push a car inside. Oh, man. You're getting old for this stuff, man. <laughs> no one likes pushing damn cars inside. Um, oh, wheels and coils are the first thing, just to get it a little bit more situated, right? We yep. got wheels, we got good tires. Now we're waiting on coils, All right, Johnny? You tell me. Then Johnny's gonna <laughs> make a turbo kit for I'm it. Holding the tail. What was that? <laughs> I said this is your cat. I'm just holding the tail. <laughs> because I've never heard that before. <laughs> uh, I want to. I want to force induce this thing really bad, but I'm the ECU's. The ECU is not unlocked yet. Mm. Mm. We'll get there. So uh, this thing is in, I didn't, I didn't buy it to make a build out of it. I just bought a car that could enjoy it. It's new and nice and everyone can drive it not to worry about it. You know what I mean? It's been great. I think everyone's driven this quite a bit. RJ took mm -hmm. it for the weekend. DJ took it to like New Jersey, I think, or something yesterday. I don't know. Hell, we got TC to drive manual and he could drive it. That's cool. I love it. But now that you guys have been watching the whole entire video, I'll tell you what car we sold. Oh, they know. They know. They now know, but like, we're going to say it. Not today. I was hoping that was the manifold. I would have cried if that was the manifold. <laughs> well, he's going around back. That's a new, I never seen uh, that guy before. Uh, he does that. He sits back there. Yeah, he sits back there and just talks on the phone, huh? Yeah. Coop. He's got to fix Coop. it yeah. and just keep it alive for the rest of the season. Love that. Here it is, T-Bone. What car in the entire shop did I sell? Well, if they watched the whole video, they would know we skipped the car. Yeah, they would skip the car. My pewter S15, my first S15, this thing was such a monument for me to buy. And I like, a lot of guys don't get it because I haven't touched it in a long time, but this car means honestly a lot to me. And um, we were always waiting for the proper time to build it. And it seems like it was never coming, right? And the way the universe works sometimes is, well, that's how it works. So we sold it. We traded it. Kind of traded it. We kind of we kind of traded it, huh? Yeah, we definitely. Trade. I traded my Pewter S15 for what? We did trade it. <laughs> Technically, it switched a couple hands, but we've traded it. Yep. I'm gonna say we traded it. So, my Pewter S15, we have to get this back on the ground and get it rolling, and we got to deliver it soon. But uh, yeah, crazy. I don't even know what to say about it. Do you, do you know what to say about it? Like it's just like weird. Like that's a good chassis. It's a it's a great it's a great car, and yeah. we had a pretty good plan for it, and then you know a million and a half cars later. Not having the right time. And Something resources popped for it. up. Something popped up. You guys know how the world works. You know this is weird. I don't. I've, I haven't really ban abandoned a lot of projects yet. Mm. We've not really abandoned anything. Mm. But the U thirty two, I guess we kind of abandoned, but we kind of finished it. We got it to a Drove. tier. We got it to a tier. Yeah. And we sold it. So I want to say that I abandoned it. But this thing, it's not an abandonment project. It is a trading up project, right? Yes. Logically, things make more sense, and it's all gonna make sense eventually. You gotta stay tuned for the next couple videos because it's all gonna make sense. <laughs> this is fucking weird. I don't want to get rid of this car, but you guys will understand. So we sold it. Click pay the video. Do 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 do. Peter fifteen. Go and goodbye. Go and get done. Go and get. Gone. What'd you say? Go and get gone. Gone. Go get gone. Go and get gone. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. So let's get this. We gotta get this thing back on. Like, this thing's got like broken studs all around. We have to get this thing back rolling on the ground. And uh, well, I hope you guys like where this is going. You have to stay tuned though. So um, I apologize for doing a video with nothing about talking, but I hope you guys learned a couple things that got you up to date. Um, so next video, this thing will be running. Hopefully. Better be. Better be. We're going to have some Look problems. Look how cool it is. <laughs> What'd you say, Tony? It ain't running. We're going to have some We're problems. We're going to have some problems. No, we'll be good. We, we got this thing ready. So with that, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly.